Hello everybody, welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the knowledge nuggets I'm dropping in my shows and just digging what I'm screaming, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe and spread the word to your friends about the best wine show anywhere. All right, so the previous show was all about Thanksgiving wines. Today's show is about the Beaujolais I was originally going to use. So if you got some leftovers, looking for a potential Christmas dinner wine, or just want some Cru Beaujolais, then this wine may be for you. Beaujolais can be traditionally used for holiday dinners. Most people will go Pinot Noir, especially Burgundy. I have no problem with that. Uh, but Beaujolais, and not just Beaujolais, but Cru Beaujo, now that's some next level stuff. I like to call Beaujolais Christmas in a glass. Not every wine from there exhibits this, but most of them do. So here we have uh, one from Momasan. Uh, it's their 2016 Morgan from the Le Charmes Vineyard. I paid 26 bucks. Morgan and Moulin Avant are basically my favorite crews, though I really love them all. So who is Momasan? It was founded in 1865 by Jean-Marie Momasan. He took over the old outbuilding of the Abbey of Cluny called Le Grand Saint-Pierre in 1889. The Abbey's emblem, the Key of St. Peter, became the emblem of the winery. If the Momosan name sounds familiar to you wine geeks, then you might know they uh, owned a little vineyard uh, called Claude de Tarte uh, up until at least 2017. It's kind of famous. Anyway, uh, it's a Grand Cru vineyard in the Maurice Saint Denis region of Burgundy. The family purchased it in 1932. Later on, sometime after 1965, they moved their headquarters to the town of Quince en Beaujolais. Uh, it is located in the Bruy Crew and is right next to the Cote de Bruy Crew. According to their website, they chose to minimize human intervention and to ban chemical processes. Humans are in the service of the grapes. The text sheet for this wine says they use sustainable farming methods. They are currently part of the Boisset Collection, which is a group of wineries in France, California, and Canada owned by Jean-Claude Boisset. Not sure when it was purchased by them, though. What I love about Cru Beaujolais is that you can really get some great fruit and spice flavors that a really nice burgundy can also give you, but at a fraction of the price. In this case, if this was a burgundy, then it would probably be at least, I don't know, a Premier Cru, possibly a Grand Cru level. Le Charmes is the highest of the named vineyards in Morgan, around 900 to 1500 feet uh, of elevation. And let's just take a look at where the vineyard or the Liu Di is located. The highlighted area is an approximation of the vineyard. I probably made it smaller than it really is though. So let's do some details about the wine. It's 100% Gamay. Like I already said, it's the highest vineyard in Morgan. The vine age is anywhere from 40 to 60 years old. It's 2.5 hectares. They do sustainable farming. It's 11 to 14% AV, ABV according to the back label. So a little side note about that last part. It's perfectly legal to have a range of alcohol on a wine label in the United States. It's not really common from what I've seen. If the wine is 14% or under, then it can have a range of 3%. So make sure you get that flashcard. So let's get into the wine. I am so excited about this. So I'm actually recording this the day before, the night before Thanksgiving. It's technically it's Thanksgiving because it's 1.52 in the morning. Um, and like I mentioned in last week's episode, we're doing... Paisanos. Now I, uh, I'm going to do Veal Salt and Boca instead of the Veal Cristina, like I always do, because like I always do the Veal Cristina, this is something different. And I knew it. <laughs> I just ordered some capsules because I'm like, I have like one pour left um, from the Coravin. Anyway, and I didn't go to High Street for our, um, our Monday morning tasting group, which is where I buy my Corvin capsules a lot. So I had to do it from Amazon. I'll have some tomorrow on Friday. So anyway, 
if you're curious of what I'm going to have an actual Thanksgiving dinner, it's going to be the Vietti Probacco. And then I'm going to order, I'm going to open the Hattingley, 2014 Hattingley, Hattingley Rosé for a little sparkling wine from England. And then after that, I have no idea what else I'm going to open. Uh, our friends are coming over and maybe I'll dip into the Riesling because we'll have at least three glasses left and really just me and one other person are the only two that are going to really drink any wine. <clears throat> and maybe I'll open the Riesling up. Maybe I'll open something else up. Any, or maybe I'll have this. So let's get into this, like I said. So spice driven, but also a lot of dried fruit. So you get a lot of dried cranberry, cranberry, dried strawberry, dried cherry. Get the spices on there, that Christmas in the glass thing I was talking about. So you get that cardamom. You also are going to get uh, clove. You get a little cinnamon. You get a little um, uh, allspice. So you get all that, and, and this is not necessarily from any barrel aging. It's the grape gamay actually presents a lot of these aromas and flavors um, after it's been fermented and it's aged for a little bit, where it's Beaujolais Nouveau is really just fruit, right? Oh, this thing smells so good. So let's just go ahead and taste it. It's so why spectacular, as I knew it would be. So everything I just talked about on the aromas, you've got the clove, you've got the allspice, you've got the cinnamon, you've got cardamom, you've got those types of spices. Now, you don't really get any vanilla because any oak that's being used in this is very minimal new oak. So you're not getting those vanillin or... or um, or whiskey lactone type of thing, which you normally get from American oak, really, rather than French oak, but both can exhibit that. But it's usually American oak that is the dominant uh, reason you'll get a whiskey lactone in a, in, a, in a wine. There's a bit of woodsy quality, a little bramble to it, a little dried forest floor. You've got this dried potpourri type of thing going on. It's it's like w walking into uh, a Pier 1, which I use that I use that analogy a lot and I know I know there's no Pier 1s around where I live, but it's like you walked into a spice rack, okay? Along with that along with you have the smell of like wicker and wood and a little bit of wood polish. And just that, and, and bamboo, and that, that type of, that type of aromas that you get, you know, incense, incense, especially like incense. Um, like you've got, uh, uh, not really patchouli, but you've got that type of head shop type of thing going on there. So it's absolutely delicious. I'm telling you, Drop the money, get you some Cru Beaujolais. Uh, if this, I, it's not Pinot Noir, but if this was a Pinot Noir, this would easily be a fifty to seventy dollar bottle of wine. Easily, because even if it was a Premier Cru level, from one of the top village, you know, village areas, say a Gervi Chambertin, uh, New Saint George, something like that, you know, Volnay, Pomard. I mean, any of those where you've got a, a really, really good Premier crew for a Pinot Noir, you're talking 50, 60, 70, maybe even more, depending on it. Grand Cru, it would be in triple digits. So I'm not saying this is a triple digit wine, but if Beaujolais was priced in that type of thing, and considering this is one of the top Leodites or vineyards in Morgan, we're talking at least Premier Cru, if not Grand Cru, right? So, this is why Beaujolais, Cru Beaujolais is such a great value because you can get it really, most Cru Beaujolais is going to be under $40 retail, 
most of it. There's going to be a few that might be a little bit higher, but maybe there's a $100 crew Beaujolais. I don't know. I've never seen it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Get the wine. And if you got some leftovers or you're looking for some Christmas wine, which I'll have a Christmas special, but if you're looking for some Christmas wine or just like everyday drinking, you know, Cru Beaujolais, I know it's 26 bucks, so not quite every day. You can find, I found Cru Morgan, just straight, just Morgan for like 20 bucks. So actually for less, I haven't tried it yet. I'd like to try it, see how good it is, but this is excellent quality stuff. All right. So uh, that is, uh, that's today's show. So again, if you are enjoying what I'm doing here, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Tell your friends. And until next time, we'll see you later.